All right, so now I want to show off how you can reuse a class. So a lot of really well-designed classes can be um, created for one particular project that you're working on, but then reused in other projects. If you have multiple projects that you're working on that all require using rectangles to get your work done, then why rewrite the rectangle class over and over and over again when you could just reuse the same class file and sort of pass it between all of your different projects, right? So reusing a class like this can be really helpful. It can save you a lot of time and means that you, uh, you know, can focus on the more specific aspects of the project that you're currently working on. So it's it's helpful to try to think ahead when you're creating a class and think about how you might be able to reuse this class for other things and maybe some added functionality that you could create that isn't immediately helpful but could be very nice to have in the future. Or when you're doing uh, some of the exercises for this chapter, it might be useful to sort of take a look through all the exercises ahead of time and see like, hey, do these all require the same objects or something like that and try to figure out if you can define functionality for all the use cases before you start actually then going and completing the uh, different exercises. So yeah, that's where this idea of reusing your previously written code can be really helpful. Uh, having objects like this kind of package in a whole bunch of your code into this neat little class file. So being able to then reuse your class file like that rather than having to copy and paste between Visual Studio windows, it can be really helpful to, you know, do. Uh, we'll be covering 10.7 in the focus part of this chapter. All right, so what we have right here is a, another application that um, uses rectangles. So previously we had that deck application that used rectangles, and now we're uh, doing one for pizza, uh, square pizzas in that case, in this case, trying to um, figure out how many slices of square, you know, square slices you can get from a square pizza. Um, so because the pizza is square right here, we can use our rectangle class super easily, uh, just keeping the um, side length uh, the same between the length and the width, right? As long as they're the same, then we just have a square. So let's think about how we can actually um, get the rectangle class from the previous project into this one. All right, so I have um, Explorer, the File Explorer application up right here. Um, on the left is the deck project that we were working on that actually has the rectangle file I made. And on the right is the pizza project that doesn't have that yet, but I'm actually inside of the project folder, not the uh, solution folder out here, but the actual project folder, the one with all of these uh, VB files. Uh, if you are creating your projects so that the solution file is in the same folder as the project folder with all the VB files, that's totally fine. You just want to be in the same folder as mainform.vb. So what I'll do is I'll copy um, the rectangle.vb file into the pizza project folder. Um, I should copy. I, I, I moved it completely. I'll move it back here, but I should copy it. So I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts to do that. But now I have rectangle.vb in here. And that's the first step to actually making it available in the project. All right, so I had copied that file over, but you'll notice that it's not actually included in the solution just yet. It's not doesn't show up in the solution explorer whatsoever. So we actually have to tell Visual Studio about that file. We have to actually add it in ourselves. So I'll add an existing item. Uh, and then since I already put rectangle.vb inside of the project folder, uh, it's just as easy as me clicking it and then adding it. And now it's a part of this solution. I can open it up and we have all of that work that I had previously done before. 
you know all the new const all the constructors all the methods these properties and uh, variables that I added in so it's just that easy all right well that's really all there is to that video um, this uh, section in the textbook does actually have a more thorough example that I do recommend you complete but I wanted to at least show off the method for you to be able to reuse a class like that it might save you a lot of time in the long run so I thought it was very important to show but yeah that's all there is to it it's very simple